How's it going guys? Today I'm going to be showing you the fastest ways to level up from ranks 1 to 50 in the Elder Scrolls Online. And before I get started, I just want to point you over to Phil the Issues Guy's channel. He does some really good recaps with his mate Joe, Game of Thrones, Walking Dead, stuff like that. So definitely check him out and show him some love. He's also just started doing some gaming videos as well, so I'll put the link for his channel in the description. So first of all, to help speed up your leveling, you're going to want to have either the Pledge of Mara or the ESO Plus membership. Each of these is going to give you a 10% XP bonus, so if you have them both it's 20%. The thing is with the Pledge of Mara that you do need to actually marry someone and then you're only going to get the extra XP when you're questing with them and you're both wearing the ring. So those boosts will definitely help you out. I'm now going to talk about clearing out the map. So first of all, you've got public dungeons. That's one of the three types of dungeons. You're going to want to do that with other people, and there's one in pretty much every area. There's a bunch of bosses, so you're going to get a lot of XP for that. What I just moved past there, the torch thing, is a delve, so they're dungeons that you can pretty much do on your own. Then that skull and crossbones is actually a world boss, so there'll be a bunch of them in each area. Another really good way of having XP. Those two little symbols I went past there, every time you discover them, you'll get a little bit of XP, but not that much. The other thing that you want to do to get a lot of XP is dolmens. You're also going to find group dungeons like Spindle Clutch, and there's only a few of these dotted around the world. They give you a bunch of XP, but they are quite difficult. So basically, you want to really clear out the entire map and make sure you're doing every single quest in your journal, and that's main quests and side quests. What you're probably going to find though is that even if you clear out the map, you still need some extra XP to get up to 50. So what you're going to want to do is some mob farming. This one here is in Cold Harbor, so everyone can do it. You need to go to the Vile Laboratory, and then basically there's just a bunch of zombies so get in a group and run around and kill all these zombies you're going to get so much xp and you're also going to get a lot of loot as well this does also increase your skills really quickly but i'm going to be making another video going into more depth about that the important thing to note about mob farming is that you need to be within 10 levels of the enemies so that's five levels below or five levels above any of those levels and you're going to get good xp from killing all these mobs so you can see here the zombies are level 46 so you could do it anywhere from 41 up all the way to 50 there's mob farming areas in pretty much every zone so just go on good Google and search for the specific zone and there's a lot of spots to choose from. Before I show you another good grinding spot in the Daggerfall Covenant, I'm going to show you what went down before our mob farm in Bankerai. That's quite enough of that. So this is the other mob farming location that I'm going to be showing you today and it's in Bankarai. Again, it's more zombies that you're killing. It's just outside Evermore and it's a whole field of zombies. There's a massive loop that you can do and I'm going to be showing you most of that loop. And the enemies are level 37, so obviously from 32 to 42 you're going to be able to get a bunch of XP as well as some cool drops including purple drops. The bigger the group you have, the more XP you're going to get and the quicker that you're going to be able to do these loops as well. But try and make sure you get at least one hit in on each enemy to make sure you get the XP. Obviously if you did do the Pledge of Mara and you're playing with that person in this group and you've got the ESO Plus membership, you're going to be getting a lot more XP as well. So that's an extra 20% on all these XP farms. If you just got the Pledge of Mara and you're wondering how you actually get married, I did make a video on it. So just check out my Elder Scrolls Online playlist. I hope this video helped you out. I am going to be making some fast leveling videos for veteran ranks soon. I just need some more players that are actually up at that level to be able to show you. But hopefully this week I will get the first one out, which will be the Magical Anomaly Farm. And I am also going to be making some build videos after much demand for those. So definitely just check my channel out in a week. I'll be getting those up and hopefully the die video as well. I'm not sure exactly what kind of format I'm going to go for that, but I do want to show you guys my favourite dies. There's also going to be PvP tonight for everyone in the Knights of Akatosh. So definitely try and be there for 8 4 45 p.m. GMT and if it's a good one I'll definitely record it and put it in the guild update video thanks for watching guys please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one